Hey guys and welcome back to my FX Media and in today's Cinema 4D tutorial I'll show you guys on how you can fix a bad topology from a CAD model so it can be used in your Unreal Engine or maybe any of the game software of your choice so do stick around to the end of this video and uh, please like share and subscribe to my channel so you can watch more of this video so let's get started okay so welcome back so now this is the this is the card model part that we are going to fix you can see the topology is very very bad so i know you might say okay we can just easily click on lines and you know start to select this um, start and start to melt it might work but uh, it's is going to take you a lot of time because of you will uh, actually go into so, so many errors so many errors venture into so many errors so the best way is to rebuild it from scratch so what i like doing is that i like to make the parts um, to be an s-ray so i can see clearly what is happening inside and know how to work around it so we can click on our cube now we use our different views i'm sorry this is not a uh, beginner's tutorial so i'm not going to be saying more of the short cut so it can be fast so we scale this down we just scale to and we just try to fix this cube to match here so just bring the cube closer make sure when you're snapped you enable age polygon and spline now you go to your top view and um, let's go here so make this cube editable and go to points mode and select your rectangle your points here snap it here do your snap it here do your snap it here go to the front view and snap it here Then do here and then snap it here. So bring down here. So you can do KL and click um, like loop cuts or just right click and go to loop cuts. Then you click on this place to make the loop cut to be at the middle. So we are going to mirror this guy um, so that we can work very fast. So delete this part and now we go to our 3d view sorry um you can see the reason why we need to on that um on make the inside to be transparent so we can see the inside so we click on our cube and let's check if the axis is in the correct point i think the axis is in correct point let's try so let's add a symmetry you hold your alt hold out and add symmetry so that it will symmetry on the object not on the world axis let's say if if we didn't hold out this is going to happen if we add it here so this is going to happen so this is not what we want we want it to symmetry in the what in our object so we hold out and click on symmetry <coughs> So we check the views and know how we come. So we are working with this part, with this side. So click on the cube, click on the line, and double click here. So let's just, since we're going to make a hole here, we can let's remove this the this thing. I think there is some errors here. Let me check. There is some arrows going on here. Okay, you can see the symmetry is is uh, too much, so we can reduce it more. Okay, I think this fixed it. Okay, this fixed it. Just change the parameters of the symmetry and you get it. And now it's not giving us to this ending. So I think there is a way. Let's click on the model. Click on world. 
let's delete the symmetry and let's make sure the axis is on this point so so you can see the error our axis is not actually on the line so just click on axis here and click on snap and drag this guy to snap here so make sure it's not on the line then you go to your symmetry and hold out and now you can see it's very very cool so uh so what do you have to do now click on okay this is going to be good uh okay we this our axis is still on of the this so make sure you make um this is what i like doing this because we are going to make a, a hole there so we're just trying to add some cuts there for a hole so we can just start making so we need to make this as low poly as possible as we can make a hole here make a stop here make one center like one yeah so we are just eyeballing this to get our this thing now we can on our uh this thing i'll snap into so actually to make this accurate we can actually make it accurate with here we can just click this line snap it to this point click this line snap it to this point now click this line snap it to this point click this line snap it to this point so make sure this is the center it looks good so this one is not in the center we can dissolve this guy now use kl click here and make it to be center also come here double click to highlight or dissolve it kl click here and make it to be center and now we can um we can still okay double click this guy now off our snap now um why um expanding it you hold shift so it can move uh, in percentage so let's let's keep it at um mm, i think 20 percent is good let's give it at 10 percent the same thing yeah the same thing yeah hold or oh, hold shift sorry oh mistake sorry Oh, sorry. Hold shift. So we need to move them. We hold shift here, ten percent. So KL, let's get to the center of this guy. So now we have. So we need to get new, new lines here and here. Double click. Uh, let's just click on axis move this guy somewhere around here so it's around here then move it oh sorry we're going on our snap now do same thing here click on the axis move it somewhere around here no somewhere around there sorry just move it here then So now remove the this then so we'll click here, go to scale, uh make sure you're looking at this for a scale once you scale you hold remember ten percent, ten percent. Okay, this is good. So this we can use this now to form a circle. So we can form this circle in two ways. Uh, I don't know if I can show you the, the ways the, the two okay, I'll show you the two ways on how you can form the circle yeah so the 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 first way uh, you can use is uh, using the bevel tool so i'll just really show you quick let's go let's go to the 3d modeling tool then let, now let's isolate only the our cube we are working with click on uh, isolate here so you can use our i think this is the this is accurate way for to do it but i'll just show you the way if it's on this flat surface i would advise you to use this way or any curve it, it might work in the curve surface though this now if you click here you click on the bevel to start the bevel now we play with the soft division you can give it like one yeah i think one is good 
now we, now we reduce the depth you can see now we can increase the offsets so sorry our the the model is too small so that is why it's um, behaving like this so once you set all these things subdivide to this or depth to this just bevel like this so you can see we have formed a circle so all we have to do is click on kk on uh, to open our knife to and start to to join these lines together so it will form a quad so now let me show you the other way you can do it this is using a script so it's very easy you go to our live selection tool we select make sure you select make sure um the the point is like this before this this stuff can work with our script go to our point to select this and just once you click it it will just automatically form your circle then you can start to scale to your choice so um, I, I don't know i might put the link description to download it i will look for the for the script and put it in the link in the description for you guys so but the best way to do this whole is to use the bevel tool so that we can make these two points to be equal so we can go back to our view now we use the top view select the two points so I'll go to bevel and bevel it, bevel it, bevel it. Okay, so this is good. Click on KK, click on our knife too, and start to join all this together. Um, okay. So another mistake that we didn't do is that um, we didn't select the down part so we can undo this guy so i think we want all the parts we want all the parts to be working well you know i can use symmetry and make this thing to appear in all parts but let's just see how this goes i think the symmetry would might be the good solution for this okay there is no distortion this looks perfect so we can start to let's isolate it and start to make it to be quad um we go back to our normal view now select this guy select this guy and select the bottom so before we make hole, make sure you make an uh, extrude inner so it has a supporting um, edge. Sorry. So you hold, um, so just extrude inner, yeah. So the shape is very small, so that's why it's just doing this. So let's try using yeah. It's still small, so uh let's reduce let's go 0 0.07 i think i think you can go to sorry um 0 0.08 i should minus 0 0.06 okay i think this might work 0 0.06 let's check around okay this looks good this looks good so we're going to delete this thing because the the um, hole went through it so just click on delete now let's isolate this guy and let's fix this hole um go to the bridge to uh let's off the symmetry so we can do this faster This is good. So go click on KL, loop select so we can put some supporting edge. So I think there is something they call the ring 
select and then actually I'll check more about that one. So it's gonna make the supporting age very very neatly for me, but mostly I do loop select and I just eyeball it. So I just make it sure just I think there's some someone there is one that is much better. I, I've forgotten the name. Click here, click here, then click one and add two lines there. Yeah? Click one and add two lines there. Yeah? We have not added subdivision yet, so let's just be going. Go back to our model on our symmetry. See, we are almost done. So, um, all right, so you can see, okay, this is looking good. Okay, 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 okay. Let's use um, bridge to let's bridge. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Um, okay, uh, one thing I like to do is that I like to make a, um, a group and put it junk where I can put my files. In case I make mistake, I can go back there and fix it. Oh, it still has a mistake. I put junk inside the junk. All right, so now we can edit this, click this guy to be editable. Now let's isolate, um, or let's, sorry, let's bring out this guy. Delete and isolate this guy. So we're gonna work here, delete. We still have points here, so if you click, okay, there is no point, but it's good to optimize, control A and UO to optimize. Oh, mm, optimization might not be good there because this point is very, very tiny. We can still optimize, we can reduce the, this thing to maybe, let's say, 0 0.001 time to just optimize it very well without affecting our our line so so let's let's make this part now so this is very easy to make uh just go click here mm, okay it's very very easy to make it's not that complicated at all just very easy to make we're going to use the side the right view and do this so just extrude um forward uh make sure it's comes this line and see we are studying here so this is good this is good so uh, we can do some eyeballing too but what I normally do is I use um, I normally use use the shape I use cube actually uh, to fix it to make it to be accurate so let's just make this in very very fast So we can uh, make sure we have it good. Go back to our shape and KL and maybe try to cut. Yeah. We can double click on the line and on our snap so we can be sure that yes, it's there. So we can delete this cube. I don't think we need it again. So uh, I think we need to close this hole now. Mm, let's let's close it. Let's close the hole. Use bridge and uh, just bridge here, uh, bridge here, uh, bridge here, uh, and bridge here. Uh. So select this um, hole. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Now just hold Control and extrude upward. So you can save and um, yeah. So we have some points here. Okay, this is looking good now. So we're gonna use the bevel. Click on the edge. Click here. Um, we can. Okay, I don't think we need this line. We can this melt it. Let's let's melt this. Sorry. Let's 
Let's melt this part of this line. I don't think we need this guy. Um, I will you will see why we don't need it. But we're going to do some beveling stuff. So there is a difference between melting and dissolving. Melting will still keep your point, but dissolving will just dissolve it. But if you do the dissolving, let's see what will happen. Uh, okay, it's still, it's still looking good because of uh, it's a square shape. So that is why it didn't affect our our shape. We need to do this guy first. Um, let's go for our man. Devil this guy. So. Okay, this is a bit good. So let's do this one. Devil it. Uh, okay. All right, now let's isolate it so we can. Let's just fix this on first before we can think of maybe doing something else. Uh, let's go to points with the KK. I don't know if we can if we dissolve this guy. If we stitch this guy to this guy, what's going to happen? Uh, this is, I think this might work. This might work. KK, just click here, click here, click here, click here. Okay, yeah. The same thing here. Yeah. Click here. Yeah. Click here. Yeah. Click here. Yeah. Click here. Yeah. And then click here. Yeah. Alright, so we have fixed this guy. So we need uh, we need to make the curve here. Yeah. So this is it's going to be a bit trickish now to do so. But let's add a subdivision and see how this is going to be. We hold out and wow, this is looking good. This topology is looking so good. Okay, so of the subdivision, we don't need it now. Um, let's fix the upside. Let's isolate this guy. Now, okay. Sorry. Um, I think we're going to use a very big bevel. Let's see. Alright, alright. So, this is what we're going to do now. We're going to. Uh, okay, now. Put the scale. Put this guy closer. Close. Uh, do we need this guy? Okay, we need it. We need it. We need it. We need this guy closer. Uh, let's try and make it prof proportional. See what we get. Bevel. Um, proportional. Undo. Alright, uh, so. The proportional gives us, gives us a better result. Uh, yes. That gives us a better result. So click on points, isolate my guy, save, stitch and sew, bam, bam. Bam, bam, okay. This guy, this guy go here, yeah. this guy go here. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. So, Kiki, um, let's cut some lines. This bad boy. So now we have end gone. So we are just fixing the 
angles. Let's fix the angles. Not seeing much here. Can we do one here? Yeah, you know, we're going to bevel this guy. I don't, I don't think we should do this. Yeah. Okay, we can do one more. We can just do one more. So, KL, you can make it, make it somewhere you like. Yeah. And make it very like this. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna put some here, like, yeah. KK isolates this guy and gave it a very. So we have four, yeah. Let's check our subdivision. It looks good. I don't think we need to. Work on this other part. Do we need to do anything here? Mm, I don't think so. <clears throat> I think it's better like that. So the the last challenging part now is this guy. This 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 guy is the bad boy. Um, this guy is the bad boy. So you can see where it's came from actually let's let's dissolve this let's melt this guy or dissolve let's dissolve and see what happens okay looks good for me now okay now let's let this to fix this side um let's bring out this guy out mm. points Let's bring this guy out by this. Okay. Uh, it's just a bit for this guy. Okay, so. And why this guy is just. I think it. Make it four. Isolate this guy for the points. Station so um let's go back. So, um, this guy up in two bits. Uh, let's like this guy's. Okay. What I like doing is that I just, I, I like melting these guys so I can get more space to work. Uh, let's go melt. So I just I like uh, I think I think to join this guy to this guy I also do this bottom side let me get to this guy join this guy to this guy join this guy to this guy so we have one two three so I want to trade. So most like I can just maybe kill uh check what's gonna happen here. I can just add one more yeah and one more yeah. Uh KK. Okay, okay. Um KK. Okay, okay. Um can just sorry. Sorry. Um close here. Close here. Close here, close here. So now I have one in the middle. It's gonna be very easy now. So let's close it down. There, close it down. 
So this guy is too far apart here. Just so what I normally do is that I I just dissolve this guy. So I can do kill. So yeah, like this. And we do this guy same thing. Yeah. I like it because of it. KK, just gonna add this two together. Um, add this two together. Then. Alright, so everything now is now caught. Now let's fix the edges. Um, click. All right, let's go to bevel. Uh, okay, make it four. Four is good. We'll make it two. Oh, sorry, it looks good. Four. Four is too much. Let's, let's make it two. I'll make it three. Uh, do we need to go some parts? Yeah, I think this will be much better. So, uh, I think I have an idea. Um, if I make it to be three, we can do here and just have some four or something. Yeah. Because I don't want this guy. I don't want to go up again. Yeah. So, um, I just want to think the easier way to do this. Do we need anything? I just wanted to put it here like this, then put it on there like this. Then, uh, no, no, no. I think I'll make it to be correct. Um, guess what? Let's kill. Let's bring this guy closer. Let's let's bring it closer, please. Um. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Bevel. Okay. Um. um Select this guy, select this guy. Um, select this guy, select this guy. Select this guy, select this guy. Select this guy. This guy. This guy. Let's check it. There's any shift in the Okay, go to bevel again, change this guy to solid, undo, and solid, so let's make it a bit sharper. Alright, so this, this looks good. This looks good, let's on, let's on subdivision, okay, man, it's, it looks good. Let's scale. Let's just add some cut here. We have two. And add some cut here. And add some cut here. Do we need to add any cut here?
All right, so I think uh, we are done. Let's check our isoforms, isoforms, and what are things. All right, so this is looking good. Let me see, everything is quartz. Everything is quartz, 